सेवन चैप्टर फोर एनिमल किंगडम वैन यू लुक अराउंड यू विल ऑब्जर्व डिफरेंट एनिमल्स विद डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड फॉर्म्स एज ओवर अ मिलियन स्पीसी ऑफ एनिमल्स हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब टिल नाउ वी नीड फॉर क्लासीफिकेशन बिकम्स ऑल द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट द क्लासीफिकेशन ऑल्सो हेल्प इन असाइनिंग अ सिस्टमेटिक पोजिशन टू न्यूली डिस्क्राइब स्पीसीज फोर पॉइंट वन बेसिस ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन इन स्पाइट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन स्ट्रक्चर एंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स देयर आर फंडामेंटल फीचर्स कॉमन टू वेरियस इंडिविजुअल इन रिलेशन टू द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेल्स बॉडी सिमेट्री नेचर ऑफ सिलोम पैटर्न ऑफ डायजेस्टिव सर्कुलेटरी और रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम दीज फीचर्स आर यूज एज द बेसिस ऑफ एनिमल क्लासीफिकेशन एंड सम ऑफ दैम आर डिस्कस्ड हेयर फोर पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थ्रू ऑल मेम्बर्स ऑफ एनिमिलिया आर मल्टी सेलर ऑल ऑफ दैम डू नॉट एग्जिबिट द सेम पैटर्न ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ सेल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन स्पॉन्जेस द सेल्स आर अरेंज एज लूज सेल्स एग्रीकेट दे एग्जिबिट सेलर लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सम डिविजन ऑफ लेबर एक्टिविटीज अकर अमंग द सेल्स इन सील एंड ट्रेड्स द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेल्स इज मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स हेयर द सेल्स परफॉर्मिंग द सेम फंक्शन आर अरेंज इन टू टिश्यूज हैंड्स इज कॉल्ड टिश्यू लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टिल हायर लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गन लेवल इज एग्जिबिटेड बाई मेम्बर्स ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंट एंड अदर हाई higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function in animals like annelids arthropods molluscs echinoderm and chordates organ have associated to form functional system each system concerned with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization organ system in different groups of animals exhibit various pattern of complexities for example the digestive system in platy elementis has only one a single opening to the outside of the body that serve as both mouth and anus and is called incomplete a complete digestive system has two opening mouth and anus similarly the circulatory system may be of two types first open time in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it and second closed time in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters arteries veins and capillaries 4.1.2 symmetry animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry sponges are mostly asymmetrical any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves when any plane passing through the central axis of the body divide the organism into two identical halves it is called the radial symmetry cylindrate tenophora and kino derms have this kind of body plane figure 4.1a animals like annelids arthropod etc where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry figure 4.1b 4.1.3 diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layer an external ectoderm and internal endoderm are called diploblastic animal example cylindrates and undifferentiated undif- layer mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm figure 4.2a those animal in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer mesoderm in between the ectoderm and mesoderm are called triploblastic animals platy elements to chordates figure 4.2b 4.1.4 coelom presence or absence of cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom animals possessing coelom are called coelomid example annelids molluscs arthropod echinoderms helmet hemichordates and chordates figure 4.3a in some animals the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as the scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm such a body cavity is called pseudocoelomid and the animal possessing them are called pseudocoelomids example sk element is figure 4.3b the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called is coelomids example platy helminth is figure 4.3c 4.5 4.1.5 segmentation in some animals the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least one organ for example in earthworm the body show this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomenon is called as metamerism 
4.1.6 notochord. Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates, and those animals which do not form this structure are called non chordates. Example Porifera to echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of animals. The broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in the preceding section is given in figure 4.4 figure 4.4 broad classification of kingdom animalia based of common fundamental features the important characteristics feature of the different phyla are described 4.2.1 phylum Porifera. Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. Figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have a cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores ostia in the body wall into a central cavity spongy seal from where it goes out through the Osculum, the pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange, and removal of waste. Quinocytes or collar cells line the spongy seal and the canals. Digestion in is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate. Hermaphrodite so eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gamete. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Figure 4.5 Examples of Porifera A. Cycon B. Euspongia C. Spongilla Example Cycon Cypha, Spongilla, Freshwater Spongy, Euspongia, Bath Sponge, 4.2.2 Phylum, Sealantrata, Nidaria. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile, or free swimming, radially symmetrical animals. Figure 4.6 The name Nidaria is derived from these Nidoblast or Nidocyst, which contain the stinging capsule or nematocyst present on the tentacle and the bodies. Nidoblasts are used for encourage defense and the capture of prey. Figure 4.7 Nidarian exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the Nidarians example Corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms, the polyp and medusa. Figure 4.6 The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like Hydra, Adamsia, etc., where the later is umbrella shaped and free swimming like Aurela or jellyfish. Those Nidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation or generation metagenesis. Polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae forms the polyp sexually. Example Oblia. Examples Physalia, Portuguese, Man of War, Adamsia, C. Anem, Penatula, C. Pen, Georgonia, C. Fen, and Mandrirana, Brain Corals. 4.2.3 Phylum Tenophora. Tenophora, commonly known as sea walnuts or corn jellies, are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion. Figure 4.8 Digestion is both extra and intracellular. Bioluminescence, the property of living organism to emit light, is well marked in tenophores. Sexes are not separate reproduction take place only by sexual means fertilization is external with di indirect development example pleurobranchia and tino plana 4.2.4 phylum platyhelminthes they have torso ventrally flattened body hence are called flatworms figure 4.9 these are mostly endoparasite found in animal including human beings flatworms are bilateral symmetrical triploblastic and acelomate animals with organ level of organization hooks and sucker are present in between the parasitic forms some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface specialized cells 
called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion sexes are not separate fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages some members like planaria possesses high regeneration capacity example tenia tapeworm fasciculus liver fluke figure 4.9 example of platyhelminthes tapeworm liver fluke 4.2.5 phylum sk helminthes the body of the sk helminthes is circular in cross section hence the name round worm figure 4.10 may this may be free living aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plant and animals round worms have organ level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and pseudo ciliated animals elementary canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx and excretory tube remove body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pores sexes are separate dioecious males and females are distinct often females are longer than males fertilization is internal and development may be direct the young one resemble the adult or indirect example ascariasis roundworm pucheria fleerworm and clastoma hookworm 4.2.6 phylum annelida they may be aquatic marine and fresh water or terrestrial free living and sometimes parasite they exhibit organ level of organization or body organization and bilateral symmetry they are triploblastic metamerically segmented and coelomate animals their body surface is distinctly marked out in segment or metamers and hence the phylum name annelida latin annulus little fi- little ring figure 4.11 they possesses longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion aquatic annelids like nereus possesses lateral appendages parapodia which help in swimming a closed circulatory system is present nephridia sing nephridium help in osmoregulation and excretion neural system consists of paired ganglia sing ganglion connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve called nereus an aquatic form is dioecious but earthworm and leeches are monoecious reproduction is sexual example nereus is ferentima earthworm and hindu denaria blood sucking leech 4.2.7 phylum arthropoda this is the largest phylum of animalia which include insects over 2/3 of all named species on earth are arthropods figure 4. 12 they have organ system level of organization they are bilateral symmetrical triploblastic segmented and coelomate animal the body of arthropoda is covered by chitinous exoskeleton the body consists of head thorax and abdomen they have joint appendages arthros joint poda appendages respiratory organ are gill book gills book lungs tracheal system circulatory systems of open type sensory organ like antenna eyes compound and simple statocysts or balance organ are present excretion take place through malpighian tubule they are mostly dioecious fertilization is usually internal they are mostly oviparous development may be direct or indirect example economically important insect apis honey bee bombax silkworm lexifer lac insect vector anopheles culix and aids mosquitoes gregarious pest locusta locust living fossil limules king crab 4.2.8 phylum mollusca this is the second largest animal phylum figure 4.13 molluscs are terrestrial or aquatic marine or freshwater having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals bodies covered by calcareous shell is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visci- visceral hump a soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and the mantle is called the mental cavity in which feature feathers like gills are present they have respiratory and excretory function the anterior head region has sensory tentacles the mouth contain file like rasping organ for feeding called predula they are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development example pilla apple small pink tada pearl oyster sepia cuttlefish loligo squid octopus devil fish aplysia sea hare dentalium tusk shell and kytopleura chitin 4.2.9 phylum echinodermata these animal have a endoskeleton of calcareous os- oscles and hence the name echinodermata spiny bodied figure 4.14 
all are marine with organ system level of organization the adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larva are bilateral symmetrical they are triploblastic and coelomate animals digestive system is incomplete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side the most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which help in locomotion capture and transport of food and respiration and excretory system is absent sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva example estrius starfish echinus sea urchin antidon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber and ophiura brittle star 4.2.9 phylum hemichordata Hemichordata was earlier considered as subphylum under phylum chordata but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non chordates this phylum consists of small group of worm like marine animals and organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animal the body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis a collar and long trunk figure 4.15 circulatory system is of open type respiration take place through gills excretory organ is proboscis gland sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect example bulanoglossus and secuglossus 4.2.11 phylum chordata animal belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits figure 4.16 these are bilateral symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ level, system level of organization they possess a post anal tail and a closed circulatory system table 4.11 present a comparison of salient feature of chordates and non chordates phylum chordate is divided into three subphyla urochordata and tunicata cephalochordata and vertebrata subphyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates figure 4.17 and are exclusively marine urochordata notochords present only in larval tail while in cephalochordate it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life example urochordata ascidia selpa doliflum cephalochordata branchiostoma amphioxus and lensel the member of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period the notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult thus all vertebrates are chordate but all chordates are not vertebrate besides the basic chordate character vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two three or four chambers kidney for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs the sub phylum vertebrate is further divided as follows 4.2.11.1 class cyclostomata all living members of the class cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes they have a elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration cyto cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaw figure 4.18 their body is devoid of scales and paired fins cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous circulation is of closed type cyto cyclostomes are marine but migrate for sp- sp- spawning to fresh water after spawning within a few days they die their larvae after metamorphosis return to the ocean example petromyzon lamprey and myxine hagfish 4.2.11.2 class chondrichthyes they are marine animal with streamlined body and have a cartilaginous endoskeleton figure 4.19 mouth is located ventrally notochord is persistent throughout life gill slits are separate and without operculum gill covered the skin is tough containing minute plesoid scales teeth are modified plesoid scales which are backwardly directed their jaws are very powerful these animals are predaceous due to the absence of air bladder they have swim constantly to avoid sinking heart is two chambered one auricular and one ventricle some of them have electric organs example torpedo and some possesses poison sting 
ट्राइगन दे आर कोल्ड ब्लडेड पोए किलो थर्मस एनिमल्स दे कॉल दी कैपेसिटी टू रेगुलेट दे लैक दी कैपेसिटी टू रेगुलेट देयर बॉडी टेंपरेचर सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट इन मेल्स पेल्विक फाइंस बियर्स क्लैस्पर्स दे हैव इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड मेनी ऑफ देम आर वीवी पेयर्स एग्जांपल्स कॉलिडन डॉगफिश प्रिस्टिस सॉफिश कैकरोटन ग्रेट वाइट शार्क ट्राइगॉन स्टिंगरे 4.2.11.3 3 class ostrichitis in it include both marine and fresh water fishes with bony endoskeleton their body streamlined mouth is mostly terminal figure 4.20 they have four pairs of gill which are covered by an operculum on each side skin is covered with cycloid tenoid scales air bladder is present which regulate biancy heart is two chambered one auricle one ventricle and they are cold blooded animal sexes are separate fertilizations usually external they are mostly oviparous and development is direct example marine exocytus flying fish hippocampus sea horse fresh water labio rohu catla catla clearis megur aquarium beta fighting fish Terophyllum angelfish 4.2.11.4 class amphibia as the name indicate jer amphi dual bios life amphibians call live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitat figure 2. Point, figure 4.21 most of them have two pairs of limbs body is divisible into head and trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is moist without scale the eyes have eyelids at tympanum represent the air alimentary canal urinary and reproductive tract open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior respiration is by gills lungs and throat skin the heart is three chambered two auricular and one ventricle these are cold blooded animal sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and development is indirect example bufo tot rana frog hyla tree frog salamanda salamandra salamander ichthyophis limbless amphibia 4.2.11.5 class reptilia the class name refer to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion latin gripir or reptum to creep or crawl they mostly terrestrial animal and their bodies covered by dry and cornified skin epi dermal scale or scutes figure 4.22 they do not have external air opening tympanum represents air limbs when present are two pairs heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodile reptiles are poi kilotherms snakes and lizards shed their scales on as skin cast sexes are separate fertilizations internal they are oviparous and development is direct example kilon turtle testudo tortoises camelon tree lizard calotes garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator alligator hemidactylus wall lizard poisonous snake naga cobra banjeras crate vipera viper 4.2.11.6 class a the characteristic features of a birds are the presence of feather in most of them can fly except fly flightless flightless bird example ostrich they possess break figure 4.23 the fore limb are modified into wings the hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking swimming or clasping the tree branches skin is dry without gland except the oil gland at the base of the tail endoskeleton is fully ossified bony and the long bones are hollow with air cavities pneumatics the digestive tract of bird has additional chamber the crop and gizzard herd is completely four chambered they are warm blooded homo homeothermous animals they are able to maintain a constant temperature respiration is by lungs air sacs connected to lung supplement respiration sacs is at separate fertilizations internal they are oviparous and development is direct example corvus crow columba pigeon Cetacula parrot, Truthio ostrich, Pavo peacock, Aptenodites penguin, 
nephrons vulture 4.2.11.7 class mammalia they are found in a variety of habitats polar ice caps desert mountain forest grassland and dark caves some of them have adapted to fly or live in water the most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing gland mammary gland by which the young ones are nourished they have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking running climbing boring swimming or flying figure 4.24 the skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair external ear or pinna are present different types of teeth are present in the jaw heart is four chambered they are monothermous respiration is by lung sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are very various with few exception and development is direct example oviparous or nitho rhynchus platypus viviparous micropus kangaroo pteropus flying fox camelus camel macaca monkey ratus rat canis dog felis cat elephus elephant equus horse delphinus common dolphin balanoptera blue whale panthera tigris tiger panthera leo lion the silent distinguished feature of all the phyla under animal kingdom is comprehensively given in the figure the table 4.2 table 4.2 silent features of different phyla in the animal kingdom the basic fundamental feature such a cell of such a level of organization symmetry cell organization celon segmentation notochord etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom beside the fundamental feature they are many other distinctive character which are specific for each phyla or class porifera include multicellular animal which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated coenocytes the celan traits have tentacles and pair nidoblasts they are mostly aquatic sessile or free floating the tenophores are marine animals with calm plates the platy elements are have flat body exhibiting bilateral symmetry the parasitic forms show distinct sucker and hooks escalmenthes and pseudo limits and include parasite as well as non parasite ground worms annelids are metamorphically segmented animal with a true celon the arthropoda are the most abundant group of animal characterized by the presence of joint appendages the molluscs have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell the body is covered with external skeleton made of chitin the cynoderms possesses a spiny skin their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system the hemichordates are of a small group of worm like marine animals they have a cylindrical body with proboscis collar and trunk phylum chordata include animal which possesses a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life other common feature observed on the chordates are the dorso horsel hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits some of the vertebrates do not possess a jaw agnatha whereas most of them possess a jaw gnathostomata agnatha is represented by the class cyclostomata they are most primitive chordate and are ectoparasite on fishes gnathostomata osteo cites bear fins for locomotion and are group under piscus chondrichthyes and fishes with cartilages endoskeleton are marine classes amphibia reptilia aves and mammals have two pairs of pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under tetrapoda the amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry cornified skin limbs are present in snakes fishes amphibians reptiles are poikilothermous cold blooded aves are warm blooded animals with feathers on their body and four limbs modified into wings for flying head limbs are adapted for walking swimming perching or collapsing the unique feature of mammals are the presence of mammary gland on hairs on the skin they are commonly exhibit viviparity